Hi, this is Helena Hart, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to use your feminine energy to bring a man closer than ever. And this is Leo. Leo did not want to stay in the other room, and as most of you know, he loves helping me out when I'm making videos, so he's going to be hanging out with us today. So the last video I posted was about the number one thing you need to do to stop pushing men away and bring them closer than ever, and I was really talking about the importance of creating the space for a man to come towards you by stopping doing all of those things that push men away, especially masculine energy men. like being the one to initiate contact with him always or asking him out constantly or just being the one to move things forward or push your agenda onto a man. So when you stop doing all of those things, you're, you create that space for him to come towards you. So one of the number one questions I got after posting that video was, well, what can you do? A lot of women got great results with that. You know, when you stop doing all of those things that push a man away, all of a sudden you can feel him start to come back towards you. Or if you're single and dating, you'll sort of feel all men everywhere kind of be mesmerized by you and want to just get closer and closer because it's a pretty rare woman who knows how to tap into her feminine energy and pull a man close, basically like pull the whole world towards her, especially that man that's right in front of her. So I got a lot of questions about that and one of the biggest questions I got was, does feminine energy mean just doing nothing? And the answer to that, in my opinion, is no. It's kind of a common perception about this, like masculine energy means doing things and feminine energy means doing nothing. And while I think it's okay to think of things like that, it's sort of like a simplistic view and I want to go really deep here and give you the next step to bring a man closer than ever using your feminine energy. So I want to be really clear, you know, sometimes it's better to do nothing than to do all those masculine energy things that I described that push men away. And a lot of times when I'm on a coaching call with someone, I'll ask them, you know, what would happen if you did nothing? What would happen if you stopped all that effort, just lean back into your feminine energy and did nothing? And most of the time they'll say, well, eventually I'd hear from him. Eventually he'd call me or text me or come back towards me. And maybe you can relate, you know, I've definitely been there myself. So doing nothing is better than doing all those things that push a man away. I want to be really clear about that, but there's much more to feminine energy than just doing nothing. You know, getting in touch with how you feel is doing something. You know, uh, loving is doing something. Feeling your feelings of love and appreciation and experiencing the moment, those are all things that you do. It might not look like you're doing something on the outside, but it can be really difficult to get in touch with your heart and some of these deeper feelings. You know, so many of us women are really cut off from our feelings a lot of times. We're sort of going through our day, living our lives on autopilot because we're just really busy or we can get stuck in in our to-do lists and our masculine energy when we're working or raising kids or trying to get everything done that we need to do for the day. So if you can lean back and really get in touch with how you're feeling in any given moment, that will tap into your feminine energy in a way that will really bring the man closer. Even just standing there like searching for a feeling is like the sexiest thing in the world to a man, especially a masculine energy man, because it gets you out of your head and into your body, out of your masculine energy and into your feminine energy. So if you're with a man, you can kind of imagine a man right in front of you right now. Most of us, well, if you're anything like me, just go right up into our heads. We start overthinking things, analyzing the situation, you know, wondering if he likes you or where you stand with him or where's this relationship going. Or if you're in conversation with him, we can get it up in our heads a lot of times and just think of like, what's the best thing to say next, okay? He said he went to this place on a vacation, so oh, I'm gonna jump in and say that I went here on my last vacation. And we're just up in our heads. And while that might get you a good mental connection with a man, it doesn't connect you to his heart. And in order for a man to wanna come close and 
fall in love and just want to, you know, it, what inspires his devotion and love and commitment is that deep heart to heart connection. And I always say the way to connect to a man's heart is always through your own heart first. So that's the first step. How are you feeling in any given moment? That will give you something to do rather than overthink the situation and focus on a man because I know it can be really easy to do that, right? That's the first step, finding what you're feeling. Now, a lot of times this is difficult, like I mentioned, for a lot of us women, right? Myself included, a lot of times we feel triggered and we just want to shut down or if we're really nervous or attracted to a man, we can tend to want to shut down to like protect ourselves, right? Uh, but the way to protect yourself most seriously is by getting in touch with these deeper parts of ourselves, like our emotions, because when you do that, your intuition kicks in and you can really intuit, you know, what would be the next thing to say? What would be the perfect thing to say next or do next? If you feel safe, can you just keep standing there? Or does something about this not feel right and you need to take a step back? So when you get in touch with your feelings, your intuition kicks in. It's an amazing thing. Wonderful gift we have as women, that intuition of ours. So a lot of times it's hard to find our feelings. So I always say that the best thing you can do to start is find a body sensation. So you can all do this right now. I'd encourage you to just lean back and just tune into your body. See if you can feel some tension somewhere, like in your shoulders. If your shoulders feel tight or tense, just imagine kind of breathing into that tension, dropping your shoulders and seeing if that tension moves somewhere else. Now, the point of this is not to get rid of the tension or squash it down or force it to move somewhere else. Just notice it. That's getting out of your head and into your body, into your feminine energy. Just notice those sensations. Maybe there's a tightness or some kind of knot somewhere. Just put all your attention there. Now, if you were to do this in front of a man, he would actually feel compelled to come closer because everything is energy. When you take that energy and focus off of him and what he's thinking and where things are going and put that energy on yourself and your body and in general, you know, the idea is taking a focus off of a man, putting it on yourself and your own life where it belongs. That's what inspires a man to come closer in the larger sense, like in the bigger picture. But even in these little moments with a man, just focusing on your body sensations will actually bring him closer. It's a really subtle thing. So when you do that, what will happen typically is feelings will start to come up. You might feel a sense of sadness or grief or maybe something positive like excitement or exhilaration or something like that. So your body sensations are a gateway into your deeper feelings. In my, this is just my opinion, my experience. If you're having a hard time searching for a feeling, go with the body sensation first don't force it and then see if some feelings organically start to come up in you. And it's just a simple little tool, but that's one way you can use your feminine energy to bring a man closer. Now, from that point, you can do anything. You can express your feelings. You can say, you know, it just feels so great being with you. Or, you know, I feel so sad watching this part of the movie. Whatever it is you're doing, just try expressing how you're feeling without placing like an expectation on it or without looking to a man to solve your feelings. You know, it's perfectly fine to let a man know you're feeling anxious or even insecure. You just don't want to be looking to him to solve that for you or looking to him to alleviate something that really you can only heal and alleviate within yourself. Maybe that's a topic for another video because it's a huge concept, but it's really life changing. If you can get that down, expressing your feelings without holding a man responsible for them and without having this expectation or agenda, like looking to a man to do something to solve something that we can really only solve and heal within ourselves. So I just wanted to share that tool today because I know people were asking, well, what's the next step after you stop doing all those things that don't work? How can you tap into your feminine energy and actually bring a man closer in that moment? And that's really how you do it. Just find a feeling. If it's hard, go for the body sensation first, feel what you're feeling. And that might be all you need to do. If you're with a man, try it next time. You'll notice him start to come closer.
From that point, if you want to go a little more advanced, you can try expressing that feeling and see what he does. And I would love to hear how this goes with you. Feel free to type in your experiences with this in the comment section, or if you have any questions for me or any other topic you'd like me to cover in a video, I would love to hear from you. So I hope to talk with you all again soon.